get in just because his dad's a senator, but he's struggling to keep his grades up. Maybe his dad being a senator is why he's here at all. <laughs> Maybe it's what not. Gave that one away? Right? Like, you start to put this stuff together. I know it's comical to you because, yeah. like, you never questioned. For you, this all makes sense. Yes. For me, I had to learn it. That's interesting. Right? I had to learn it. And then when I finally learned, like, shit doesn't work according to the rules, then I get to CIA, and guess what the first lesson is at CIA? We're going to teach you how to live outside the rules. And I was like, oh, that makes that's so encouraging to me because I've been watching people live outside the rules. And I've been wondering how they do that and how they do it and succeed. Because it's not hard to find people who don't live outside the rules. It's hard to find people who don't live, it's hard to find people who live outside the rules and succeed. You can find them living outside the rules and failing all day long. You can find broke people who smoke weed and who do drugs. You can find poor people who, you know, fail, people who failed out of whatever because they couldn't keep their shit straight and lied to their wife or who knows whatever else. But it's hard to find the super successful person who lied to their wife, the super successful person who does drugs. It's a much harder person to find. Before they even tell you that, though, at the CIA, like, we're going to teach you how to break the rules, though, you have to accept the idea to, like, go visit it. It sounds to me like if I had the attitude that you do, the last thing I would want to do is go join up with another arm of the government where it's all about the same things you dealt with, authority, because... At the CIA, there's layers to it just like everything else. The order comes down from an order, comes down from an order, go do this. So what, why did you even why did you even open yourself up to it at that point? Because in the military, in the military, the authority is granted by rank. At the agency, the authority is granted by success. So yes, there's layers of authority, but the difference is in like if I deploy with the military, I deploy with a squadron of people who are part of a wing of people, who are part of a group of people, who are part of a, like, uh, a detachment of people. And there's commanders at every level. So I actually need, like, if I'm doing X, Y, X, Y, Z, I have somebody supervising my every step of X, Y, Z. When I'm with the agency, and I go to execute a mission in the field, nobody goes with me. I have a supervisor who is supervising the end result of the mission from somewhere else usually from Langley, Virginia. I do whatever I gotta do. And I either bring back, like, the bacon, or I don't. And then, did you know that before? You, you didn't know that before. You no, know, I didn't know that before, but what I knew before is that I wanted to get out of the military. And CIA was the best. So go to the CIA? Table. It was the best offer on the table. I was trying to